Hey everyone, Clay from Clayviation.com. Today we're taking a very common training flight, and that is touch and goes in the pattern. Now I know what you're thinking. Practicing landings on the simulator isn't the best use for a simulator. And you're right, landings on the simulator just kind of lack the reality of the real thing. But today is really kind of like chair flying. You know, when we chair fly, we could be sitting in a chair, actually reading through our checklists, visualizing the traffic pattern, or we could be walking the pattern around, say, a chalk runway that we've drawn out in the driveway. But we're going to take it up a notch and fly it in the simulator to get the best visual we can. Take a look at the description for a blog link to chair flying that I wrote some time back. Now, while the task is touch and goes, what we're focusing on is not the landings. What we're focusing on is the flow of the circuits we're doing. We're making sure that we're using our checklists, we're staying ahead of the airplane by anticipating what's next. And anticipating what's next by building habits and practicing. So today we're at the Flying Cloud Airport in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I chose this for the nice long runway and the good visual references in the pattern, which I'll show you when we're up. I'm not too concerned with how well I fly this pattern. That's not the purpose of how I'm practicing today. This is primarily a visual maneuver, and so the simulator does lack some things, like being able to look around really easily and tell exactly where in the pattern you are. You can do it, it's just not quite like the real thing. So again, it's not about trying to fly a perfect pattern on the simulator, it's about going through our flows. Now your particular nuances and checklists will likely vary. Um, if you're practicing to fly X-Plane, this should help you out to see what the flow looks like. Otherwise, take what your airplane checklist says and adapt um, this concept of practicing the flows of the pattern to your particular airplane. So we've just finished our takeoff, I'm sorry, our uh, run up, and we are about to take off. We're here at runway 28 left um, at Flying Cloud Airport. So one thing we could do is actually make our radio calls as if we were in a non-towered airport as well, a pilot-controlled airport. So if we wanted to, we could make the announcement. Um, Flying Cloud traffic, Cessna 978, Alpha Papa, taking runway 2 left for closed traffic, Flying Cloud, if we'd like to do that. We can look over and kind of check our departure, or I'm sorry, our approach side, and make sure that there's no other airplanes that are coming on the approach, and we'll make our way out to the runway. If you have a great way to configure the views, whether it's a button on your joystick um, or some keys that you can easily press, that's great. I find it hard to control the airplane and mess around too much with a lot of the keys and the views while I'm doing it, so I try not to look around too terribly much. One of these days I might play around with one of those head tracking devices um, and see if I can get that going up and running. All right, heading out to the runway here. We'll stop briefly and get a quick check to make sure that we're lined up correctly. 28 left is the runway. All right, and if we look, we've got 28 on the compass, 28 on the heading. Release the brakes, smoothly advance that throttle. And we're rolling. We've got airspeed alive. Our oil temperature and pressure are in the green. We're looking to rotate at 55 knots. I have 55. And we're flying. Looking to climb out between 70 and 80. The scenery in this airport's just kind of nice. Um, there are some airports in X-Plane that are just very basic and have the runway layout. Um, I stumbled upon this one and I just really like the fact that there's a bunch of good scenery and hangars and all kinds of things over there to make it feel a little bit more realistic as we fly here. Field elevation at this airport is 906 MSL, mean sea level. So that means our traffic pattern altitude is 1906 MSL. So at 700 feet at our, on our departure leg here, we'll turn to the crosswind. And that's at, uh, at that point, 1,606 feet. So just over 1,600, we'll go ahead and make our, our turn crosswind. 
Now, something I like, um, another reason I chose this airport is there are all these great water features around, um, which I believe is actually the Minnesota Valley National Wildlife Refuge. We can go ahead and start our turn to crosswind here. And, of course, we can make our uh, traffic call, too. Say, uh, flying cloud traffic, Cessna 9er 78 Alpha Papa's crosswind runway 28 left, flying cloud. As we approach 1,900 feet, we can go ahead and level off, anticipate that a little bit. We can kind of power back to the lower end of the green arc. And I've been using this kind of field, if you can see it, that has, it looks like a big circular kind of swirl field there. That's been a great landmark for kind of my turn to the downwind. Trim down a little bit here as our speed picks up. All right, just working on getting the trim adjusted, the plane nicely configured. We'll go ahead and turn to our downwind here. All nice standard rate turns in the pattern. Getting a little high. But again, I'm not so much worried about, I mean, yes, it, it is fun to fly this accurately, and I do want to make sure I'm watching my altitude here in the simulator, but again, I'm making sure that I've got my flow checks down pat. And in this particular airport, if you can see where that river bends just up ahead, that's a great just visual reference I found to make sure that I'm on the right spot in downwind as we go through this. So now that we're on the downwind, I don't want my power to sneak up on me too much, we can actually look over and make sure that our uh, path is, is in the right spot, that we're truly a beam the runway as we fly along. Ideally, we're going to have that runway show up at about the midpoint of our wing strut out there. That's going to give us a, a decent visual reference for if we're kind of the right distance from the runway. So we can go ahead and do a, a quick landing check here while we have a moment. Make sure that our, do kind of a gumps check, look down, make sure that our our gas is fuel selector to both. Our undercarriage is fixed. Our mixture is rich. Props are fixed. Uh, Seatbelts are on. Switches. We'll keep the switches as they are with our landing light on. Okay, now we're looking to be a beam the numbers, and we just passed those numbers. So we'll go ahead and reduce our power to 15 to 1600 here. And we're going to put in the first notch of flaps. Anticipate that we're going to hold this, uh, hold this altitude, and let our airspeed bleed off, and start descending at about uh, 75 to 80 here. Make sure that that RPM doesn't creep down too far on us. And again, this is really just about kind of practicing our numbers. If you do this enough, you know which RPMs you're going to be going to for the most part to kind of aim for. You know what your uh, speeds are to fly in the pattern. You know kind of what you're looking for. You can kind of look back and make sure once that's 45 degrees off our shoulder, that runway there, that we'll make our turn in. And I know just from flying this visually some that it's right before this kind of bend in the, in the river up in front of us, which is really kind of handy. So we'll go ahead and make our, um, our turn to downwind here. Nice, easy turn. Once we're established, we'll put down another notch of flaps. I don't like to put down flaps in a turn. Bring this on around. Looking for a heading of 10 degrees. That'll put 2.8 just off of our left wing. All right, and now that we are rolling out here, I'll go ahead and if you noticed, I didn't ever announce my downwind. We can announce our base. Flying crowd traffic, Cessna 9 or, 8, 9 or 7 8 Alpha Papa is now left down, base for runway 28 left. Flying cloud. Now at this point, it's kind of hard to look over and see exactly where that runway is with these views. That's something I'd kind of like to tweak some. But we can go ahead and make a shallow turn in. I'd rather turn early than late in the pattern. Because if you turn late, you tend to over, uh, over bank and cross control, and that can lead to a stall situation. 
So let's turn and see how we're looking here. Very nice. We're a little, little past it, so we're going to have to adjust here. But that's fine. Flying Cloud Traffic Cessna 9 or 7 8 Alpha Papa is final for runway 28 left, Flying Cloud. And we'll go ahead and get this back in, get this in line. Now, the landing part itself, you know, it's fun. We'll have a good time landing here. I'm not sure that it really helps me much um, in the real airplane other than just kind of practicing the scan of kind of checking my RPMs, checking my airspeed, making sure everything looks good. What are the things I could be looking at for what might cause me to want to go around? Let's put this latch not last notch of flaps in. Looking for about 65 on the airspeed. Um, showing a little high on the lights there. We've got four whites, so work on bringing that on down a little bit. We're pitching for our airspeed. And then we're going to let our power primarily control our altitude. You know, we could be looking for a deer to come out on the runway at this point. We could be looking for another airplane to taxi onto the runway, not knowing that we're on final. Um, if our approach is not stabilized, if we just don't feel like we've got the airspeed uh, right, we can choose to go around at that point as well. But again, that's why I like this really nice long runway at this airport. Because the point is not so much to practice the landings as much as just to practice kind of my radio calls and the flows. We'll go ahead and reduce our power here. We're looking good. We'll go ahead and level off. There we are. We set our trim, raise our flaps, set our trim back to take off, and go ahead and advance that power. Air speed's alive, oil temperature and pressure in the green, and that just kind of lifted off on its own. I hope this has helped you out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give me some feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any additional ways that you practice in the traffic pattern. And until next time, enjoy your flying.